Well, welcome to a Monday Memo. It's not Monday, it's Tuesday. I'm not in Bloomington Normal. I'm in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin for some continuing education. And I meant to get to this before I left yesterday morning for this event, but I didn't get to it. But we have enough traction that I think I'd like to uh, bring us up to speed as we head into this next weekend. Lots of things going on. Normally I give you some announcements. You can look in the news for that or on our website. Please do so. Uh, but right now I'd just like to bring you up to speed because we're going to take a very large jump in Scripture going from the story of Jacob being renamed to Israel last week all the way into Exodus and into the very beginning and heart of Exodus, actually. So the reading for this week comes from Exodus, the first chapter, and then jumping even at that point into the third chapter. Now, a new king arose over Egypt who did not know Joseph. He said to his people, Look, the Israelite people are more numerous and more powerful than we. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them, or they will increase, and in the event of war, join with our enemies and fight against us and escape from the land. Therefore, they set taskmasters over them to oppress them with forced labor. They built supply cities and pit them and Ramses for Pharaoh. But the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread, so that the Egyptians came to dread the Israelites. The Egyptians became ruthless in imposing tasks on the Israelites and made their lives bitter with hard service, with mortar and brick, and in every kind of field labor. They were ruthless in all the tasks that they imposed on them. Moses then was keeping the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. He led his flock beyond the wilderness, and he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of a bush. And he looked, and the bush was blazing, yet it was not consumed. Then Moses said, I must turn aside and look at this great sight and see why the bush is not burned up. When the Lord saw that he turned and uh, turned aside to see, God called him out of the bush, Moses, Moses. And he said, here I am. And then he said, come no closer. Remove the sandals from your feet for the place which you are standing is holy ground. And he said further, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. Then the Lord said, I have observed the, mystery, the misery of my people who are in Egypt, and have heard their cry on account of their taskmasters. Indeed, I know their sufferings, and I have come down to deliver them from the Egyptians, to bring them up out of that land to a good land, a broad land, a land flowing with milk and honey to the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Pezites, and the Hevites, and the Jebusites. The cry of the Israelites has now come to me. I have also seen how the Egyptians oppressed them. So come, I will send you to Pharaoh, and to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? He said, I will be with you. And this shall be a sign for you that it is I who sent you when you have brought the people out of Egypt. You shall worship God on this mountain. But Moses said to God, If I come to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your ancestors sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. He said further, You shall say to the Israelites, I am has sent you to me to you. And God also said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my title for all generations. So we get a big jump. Matter of fact, we take such a big jump that we have to remember who God is in this story in some ways, that he is the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, 
the God of promise that brought them this far and has heard their cry for the people of Israel and will not leave them and is in such deep relationship that offers his name, I am, to his people. I look forward to telling you more about this story and how God works with us and God is at the center of the story of life and salvation, of freedom from sin, death, and the devil. I encourage you to join us this weekend at St. John's Lutheran Church. Yes, I will be back for services this weekend and I look forward to seeing you either on Saturday at 5 o'clock, Sunday at 8.30 for a traditional service or a Community of Joy services at 9.45 and 11. God bless. Have a fabulous week. I intend to and we'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye.